The problem is the problem that's been around. The problem's been around for so long, so deeply ingrained. Sam Quinones' award-winning book, Dreamland, is viewed as the authoritative study on how heroin and opioids became such a problem. Many of the public health professionals gathered Monday in Lexington have read it. Now they're talking about how to solve the problem. They were there for the 15th annual Health Policy Forum put on by the Foundation for a Healthy Kentucky. We were sold out two months in advance. Uh, it's all because of the subject matter, we believe, uh, of uh, substance use disorder. One speaker, Dr. Kelly Firesheets, says the crisis shows no signs of slowing. There are more and more people who are becoming addicted. We're doing a lot of the right things. We just need a whole lot more of all of it. 1,404 people died of overdose deaths last year in Kentucky. Firesheets thinks even more people will die of an overdose this year. We really need to be intentional about reducing the supply of the drug that's in our community and also about providing treatment and support for people who are already addicted to that drug. Otherwise, we just get, continue to get caught in that cycle of supply and demand and supply and demand. Quinonez sees good things in Kentucky, citing Casey's Law and a Good Samaritan Law, which encourage treatment, as well as new efforts to limit opioid prescriptions. I think the state generally is definitely in the, in, in the right direction. You just... People have grown used to quick answers, and this is something that took 20 years or more to fester and develop into what we have now, so it might take that long to get out of it. I don't know. Now, many people at today's conference say they're waiting to see what Governor Matt Bevin and state lawmakers propose in January for the next two-year budget cycle. They say this has to be a funding priority. Mark Vanderoff, WLKY News.